hey guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be covering the uh, third event the third mission i mean to the kai tenjo event so we need to collect a lot of challenge points in order to actually do that um yeah so we need to collect a lot however i've been grinding it out a little bit and um i'm we're just going to go ahead and do that now by challenging level 40 kite and since i have a lot this is kind of a waste for now but i can always just re-grind back uh to get back my uh number items so it'll be fine and just challenge this for now and hopefully that'll push us to um how many points we need we'll need around well more than 2500 so yeah yeah, we'll need a 520,000, so... Also, we're going to be playing as Kite now. But it'll still be the same deck as usual. Instead of, um... Yuma and Astral, just because, well... I've already leveled them up to level 30. So, I kinda want Kite to get the XP. And I also do want to show you the... Dialogue that Kite... The interaction that Kite has with, uh, Shark. So, let's get going. Right, right. Um, so I am a little afraid, a little afraid of breaking, and I definitely don't want to lose. So I've got a lot of event items here. We might as well use some of them. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's use uh all of them as well. We don't really have a reason not to anyway. That is kind of the point of the event item. So again, if you have a lot, don't be afraid to use them. Let's uh, go. Right, just as usual, we're going second. As I'm pretty sure, just like in every other event, uh, we're going to go second when we fight Kai. I mean, Kite. I cooked up a special strategy to defeat you, Kite. Witness the strength of my galaxy eyes. Okay, hopefully, we won't have to witness the strength of his galaxy eyes since we do want to win. That's also another reason why I'm not using um, XC's monsters. I don't want to lose to Galaxy Eyes. Okay. I bet. Oh, oh, he had a Galaxy Zero to hand. I'm assuming he has Galaxy Eyes in his hand. Galaxy Wizard. Um. Alright, so that was kind of fast, so let me just quickly read through what this is to. Once per turn, increase its cards level by 4 until the end phase, so it'll be level 8 and tribute it for... Tribute this card, add a galaxy card from deck to hand, except for galaxy wizard. Alright, so you can fetch a uh, galaxy ice photon dragon. Target one photon or galaxy monster in the graveyard, special summon it in attack position. And equip it to this card, and then it cannot attack or activate its effects. If it would be destroyed during the battle phase, you can destroy this card instead. But when the card, when this card leaves the field, the equipped monster's attack becomes zero, and you can only activate one Galaxy Zero per turn. I think we'll be fine. We do have polymerization as well, which is a huge help. So let me also just do this. Since he has three cards in his hand, we might as well gain some life points. You know, any advantage is good here. Right, so... I'm going to go with Grand Merge, which is a very good card. It's like... Uh, it's amazing in this deck. It lets, you fusion, it lets you summon any other fusion monster and all that. Uh, after it attacks your opponent's monster. It's just, it's a great card. We'll also use Monster Reborn here just to revive our, um, yep, Neos. And let's just swing with Grand Merge. Right, so his monster isn't destroyed, but it doesn't stop him from taking damage. Great, so we won. Yeah, that was pretty quick. But, uh, I don't mind that's much better it helps us end the event faster okay Ooh, nice got a bunch of 
cards, but they're not really the ones we want. Uh, it is level 40 as well, and anyway. Oh, okay, that's good. It seems like it pushed us over the amount we needed. So, we have probably unlocked the uh, third mission. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, challenge 3 unlocked. Finally, a uh, possessed duelist has appeared and let's go. We'll, we'll still be using um, Shark for this one. But I'm assuming that they'll let us use Kite. Huh? What's this? I found a number! Uh, yep, let's play with Kite's deck. Exactly! Let the hunt begin! She didn't say anything. Um, okay, let's just go. What was up with the music just now? That was kind of weird. It shifted back to the main menu music, even though it was in the loading screen. Doesn't usually do that. Oh, well. This is a giant brick. Uh, we better not lose because of this. This is a terrible, terrible hand. I may even have to cut this part out. Oh no, what are we going to do? Can't do anything with this. Uh, we'll just set Luminize and leave it at that. Hopefully she won't do anything. Oh no. Okay, okay. So all we really need is just, just one monster. Are we really going to lose like this? This is how we lose after finally unlocking the third event. Huh. <sighs> Maybe I should have used an event item. <sighs> mm -hmm. That's right, we're not giving up yet. I really hope we can like re challenge that. Oh, uh, oops, accident. Okay, so we can. That's good thing I accidentally skipped her monologue but who cares right so we'll just fast forward we've read this already let the hunt begin so let's go ahead and just use one item uh just in case you know it is it is level 20 you know what um, maybe we'll save up the items. Like I said, I mean, you can go ahead and use them if you want. There's no problem with that. But uh, hopefully we won't break again. If we do, I will be using the event items. Just that I won't try going on without them for now. Okay, good. We actually didn't break this time. Jeez. Right, what does this do? Can attack Marp. Okay, so it can attack us directly. When it inflicts battle damage by direct attack, we cannot activate spell traps or monster card effects until the end phase of that turn. So it doesn't matter, we're not going to be doing that. So we'll just be summoning Photon Advancer. Um. And now we'll special summon another Photon Advancer. Right, so just like before the uh, combo that this deck lets us do, Xe summon Lord Galaxion. And let's get Galaxy Eyes onto the field. We don't need to activate that yet. Hello to Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I'll let the uh, animation play. Because it's really nice actually, it's pretty cool. Nice. Um, let's just go. It's time to swing and win. Oh, wait, wait a second. It's like 300 points of battle them of damage to your opponent's life points for each life 
face up light ones that are on your side of the field. Okay, so that's not a problem. Yeah, we'll just take 300, but she's, she's going to take a lot more. Right, so that wasn't a one turn kill, but oh well. Right, so that's that. Right, let's uh, just go for it. And swing with Photon Dragon. And that's the end. Yeah, you did. You pretty much did. It was kind of mean of you to beat me down when I bricked the first time, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Okay. Got a lot of numbers. That's uh, good. We can challenge Kite even more then. Ah, sorry. I was zoned out again. Okay, I think, wait, based on this music, are we unlocking Kite now? When I started dueling, I made a promise. A promise to save my brother heart. But this time around, I will duel for myself. Yuma, Astral, you've helped me in the past. So this time, I'll help you. I don't know what challenges I'll face in this world, but uh, none of them will stop me. Because no one can duel like I do, that's true. Kite Tenjo unlock. All right, great. Finally, you can now use Kite Tenjo and his deck. Obtain a Cosmic Scourge Galaxy Eyes. Kite Ace Monster is not included in his default deck. Yeah, just like a lot of other characters now. So we need the skill to add Galaxy Eyes. Great. Finally, we've unlocked. Um, we've unlocked Kite. So I'll just. Go ahead and grab this reward. For now, I'll grab the icon as well. And I'll end this video off by changing to show showing what the kite start deck is like. While Yuma collected numbers, kite hunted down numbers as a number hunter. Their different approaches eventually led to their clash. Though kite sees Astral as a worthy rival, Kite sees Yuma as just another obstacle to overcome. Yeah, I can understand that. His ace monster is Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. Uh, because of course it is. Let's see, so we get Photon Charge Man as a... Uh... Okay, level up reward, Photon Slasher. Cool. Photon Scream of Destruction, alright. Star Leech Lord Galaxion at level 11. Okay, not bad. Numbers rule, of course. Uh, another Photon Charge Man, Slasher, Stream of Destruction, what is this skill? Galaxy Photon. Oh, this is a skill that uh, we got during the, uh, that we could use during the event, I think. Return one Galaxy or Photon monster from your hand to your deck. And yeah, that's, that's the same uh, skill as before. So Charge Man, Slasher, Photon, so those are the three cards that we can get and we can also get Lord Galaxion by leveling him up to level 30 so that's cool so let's uh, see what his deck is like uh yep just as I expected just like every other deck every other start deck it's quite bad Yeah, we, we can't do anything with this deck. They're kind of really stingy with... Duel Links is really stingy with trial... with start decks. They don't even give you, like, high-powered monsters at least, so that at the very least you can bring, like, a start deck in a fight against a bot and actually destroy them. Like, you know, I, I think, like, the standard should at least be level 4 monsters with at least 1400 or 1500 attack is that too much to ask for like start decks obviously we're going to be changing it later but you know it bet it'd just be nice to start out with better start decks anyway so that was it that was the third event 
kind of fast but oh well uh, but that's great we finally unlocked kite i'm very excited i'll be showing you guys uh my photon deck later as well oh so we can also get a luminite later on um yeah during this event i already have a single copy of him but oh well so the next and final event will be uh january 29th so on the day of this video's recording that's tomorrow and i'll also be covering that uh soon thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the i hope you guys enjoyed the videos um you know and yeah i'm just uh excited to finally try out photons using kite so i'll see you guys next time and let's continue to hunt more numbers uh, so this is kind of edited into the video but uh I just wanted to show you guys um, this dialogue between Shark and Kite. Shark, I'm surprised you of all people are willing to help Yuma. What's with the new tooth, Kite? I don't need to explain myself, especially to you. Huh, <laughs> I was wrong. You're still the same old ray of sunshine. So, you want my help? No, I don't. And don't get in my way. Huh, I guess he... Yep, he's just a lone hunter. I'll do whatever I want. And if it so happens that I get in your way, that's your problem. I said, don't get in my way. And I just said, do you ever listen to anyone but yourself? And stop acting like you're better than me. But I am better than you. I proved it by defeating you. But if you want revenge, I'm right here. Then let's do this. I'm here to hunt you down, huh? Um, Alright then. Uh, well, that's, that's it. I just want to show you the dialogue in case it didn't pop up next time.